Welcome back to the Handyman Business YouTube channel. Today we're going to discuss a topic, a very touchy topic. I've been on YouTube making home improvement content for several years now, and I've had a lot of interaction with uh, the viewers via the comments. I want to clear one thing up at the very beginning. Most places in the United States don't recognize the title handyman. It's just something you call yourself or it's a type or style of home maintenance work or home improvement work. So I'll get a lot of comments that say, um, you can't do that, you're a handyman. Well, I can call myself the Easter Bunny, but it doesn't change the fact that I can do this. Handyman can't do that, handyman can't do that. Well, there is no handyman. In a lot of places, there is no handyman. It's just a name. So I wanna discuss how to get your contractor's license. A lot of people think that it's this some impossible task and it's only reserved for the elite construction professional or the corrupt construction professional. And in some places, that's correct. So I've worked in multiple states doing a large range of construction and home improvement projects from building hundreds of houses, building probably hundreds of condos and townhouses. Eat mine, it's not hard to build a hundred condos in a 500 unit complex. At one point in time, the peak of my career, I was closing 24 houses a month. That was a short period of time at, at the end of a fiscal year where they were like, we need more houses, we need more closings, we need more closings. I was doing 24 closings a month. It was ridiculous. I've built hundreds of decks, commercial decks, done a lot of roofing, a lot of siding, a lot of electric. God, the list goes on. And I've done it in a lot of different municipalities and a lot of different states. So I have a lot of experience to, uh, to talk about. I even goes back to, I uh, did my internship with a building department with the second largest city in the state. Is that a big deal? It is kind of pretty much worked in the building department every single day. I know the inner workings of permitting among many other things that had to do with the building department. So in most places, all you have to do is go down to your building department and say, I would like to apply to get my contractor's license. And they will say, okay, fill this form out and pay this fee. And that's it. Now on the form, it's a, basically an affidavit. You put down your experience, how many years you've been doing home renovations, remodeling, building houses, additions. You have to put down your insurance information and you have to list that municipality on your insurance. Most everybody watching this video right now can go down and get a contractor's license. And I'm gonna refer to this guy that had submitted the question about separating himself from the competition. He thinks he's losing ground. Uh, happens to be in California. Uh, they use, they, they spend a lot of money on putting on sting operations. It's kind of baffling to me. I've honestly never heard of it until I had a YouTube channel and people were telling me that this happens. Some places it's just gonna be impossible and it's meant to be impossible because they don't want you to get a contractor's license. Who doesn't want you to get a contractor's license? The large contractors in that city. They don't want competition coming up from the bottom. But a lot of cities, it, it's not that bad. I'm gonna read you the requirements from my city and it's the largest city in the state. Two years of building construction field work as a construction foreman, okay? Uh, for someone like me, that, that's pretty easy to come by. Um, just building houses as a superintendent, from, the, from digging a hole, actually from, from site development to closing, getting the CO, uh, foundation, framing, and roofing. Now, what if you don't have that? Well, you got to prove that you have that experience. How do you prove it? Say you've been doing it off the, under the table or off the books for a decade and you wanna get a legit license. Well, you can get notarized letters that show that you've done projects and they don't have to be projects in this municipality. Along with these requirements, you have to pass an ICC exam. Not, not a big deal at all. If you went the superintendent route, most likely your builder sent you to the class to pass the test and they took care of all this for you. But you are gonna have to take that test. It's open book test. There's uh, online classes you can take like prep courses for that exam, but that's all stuff that is not a roadblock. What is the roadblock is the notarized letters. All right, this is where things get a little gray. You need documentation in the form of notarized letters from homeowners, past employers, 
that's about it. That's about all they're going to take. You need to prove where the project was, what it was, the dates of start and completion to give you that two years of experience. Most handyman don't have foundation management experience. They don't have roofing foreman management experience and they've never managed uh, the framing of a house. In a lot of municipalities, they have specialty licenses. They've got A, B, and C. And then there's a whole tier of specialty licenses. Uh, you can get a fencing contractor license. No tests, no letters, no nothing. You can get a roofing license. No tests, no letters, no nothing. There's a remodeler's license in a lot of municipalities where you don't need foundation uh, experience, but you are an expert at remodeling a kitchen. So you've got to get on your building department and look for those specialty and sub levels of contractors licenses. That is a very important point. Uh, you don't need a full residential contractors license that, that allows you to go out and build a house to a thing like a three story multifamily is the lowest full contractors license where I live. So how do you get these notarized letters? Ah, well, I'm just, I'm just going to tell you, you got to go find a buddy that works for a construction company and have him write you the letters. That's how most small time guys that do remodeling get their residential contractor's license. You got to know somebody that will write you that letter on a co company letterhead that will say that you were a foreman or a superintendent building houses for two years. That's just the way it is. For people who don't have that job, it's impossible. It's impossible to, to, to have that experience without having that job as an, as, as an employee building houses for a general contractor. It's unfortunate, but that's just the way it is in big cities. So just to recap, easiest way is to go get a job as a construction superintendent and you have to manage the construction of a house from start to finish for two years. Well, that's not the easiest way. The easiest way is to get your buddy that works for that company to write you a letter that says that's what you did. They do follow up. They do call. I don't know how many times I had guys ask me to write that letter. I said no because I didn't want to lose my job. And in fact, one of our salesmen did that. He wasn't even in construction. He wasn't a superintendent, a project manager, or anything. He was a salesman that sold the house. So what happened is he wrote a letter on the company letterhead, and they followed up with the main office and said, hey, uh, we want to check on the employment status of uh, this guy. We've got a letter from so-and-so that says he's worked there uh, you know, for several years managing the construction of your, your homes that you're building. And that guy got fired on the spot. He'd been there for like 10 years and was fired instantly. Done. So when you're in the construction industry, uh, it's good to make friends in that construction industry. Make friends with the foundation guys, the roofing guys, the framing guys. Form a network. And that network will give you the resources to get that license. I know a guy that knows a guy that knows how to get you the license. Keep in mind, this is big city construction politics. It's just the way it is. Good luck out there. Questions? Put them down below, or better yet, submit them through Patreon. That's where most of them come from these days. The comment section on the main YouTube channel is crazy. Can't even keep up with it. Comments on this channel, I only upload once, twice a month, so it's manageable. Feel free to have a discussion below in the comments. Keep it positive. Keep it beneficial for other guys. Share your experience, how you got your contractor's license. Share how often you actually use that contractor's license. Goodbye.